a light bulb. Fingerprints, Mr. Green. A bullet embedded in the wall. Rope on tape. A small key found in drawer. Fingerprints Mrs. White. A safe in the sideboard. Checks and drafts in the safe, including those from Professor Plum and Mrs. Peacock. bullet holes in the wall. Wrench. Fingerprints Professor Plum and Mrs. White.
there is nothing. Candlestick. Damage. Fingerprints, Mrs. Peacock, Miss Scarlet, and Mrs. White. Sorry, none of this would have happened if I hadn't behaved like a complete fool. identified as beer. Night. Fingerprints, Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard, and Mrs. Peacock. appears to have been fired four times. Fingerprints, Mrs. Peacock, Mrs. White, and Colonel Mustard. Glass smashed. Last weekend, we got him a spot. 
hockey practice and I've, I've got them seen it since then. No reason to. On the whole, I think I would find it difficult to suggest who might have murdered the body. But there was certainly a great deal of peculiar pain. Aren't you aware that somebody tied a rope across the top of the stairs? <laughs> Mrs. White nearly fell over it. She could have been killed. I was called upon to cut it down for her. But even she had been behaving in a very odd manner in the dining room earlier. She was staring at that big cupboard and was clutching something in her hand as if her life depended upon it. Seemed like she was trying to make a decision. But I beat a hasty retreat. Wouldn't do to be caught snooping. You think the murder took place in the hall, but who was the murderer? Which weapon do you think they used? And this is your accusation. You think the murderer was Colonel Mustard in the hall with the gun? Well done, you've got everything right. You've solved the murder mystery. Now, let's go through it stage by stage. Let's see what happened. Mr. Buddy had persuaded several people to invest in Bolton's brewery. He knew they'd lose everything, but he still took their money. But Colonel Mustard had more to lose than money. If he didn't silence Mr. Buddy, then all his rather sordid secrets would be revealed, and Mrs. Peacock would find out about his relationship with Miss Scarlet. She would be devastated. And he couldn't face that. The colonel lied about his whereabouts. He didn't go to the conservatory, as he said. He went after Mr. Body to have it out with him. He found Mr. Body in the study, and he tried to reason with him, but Mr. Body only laughed. He told the colonel that he was an old fool, and then he walked out, but still laughing. Colonel Mustard saw the gun on the desk where Mrs. White had left it earlier. He grabbed it and went straight after Mr. Body. He caught up with him in the hall. The colonel's first shot missed Mr. Body altogether and the bullet lodged in the wall. But he made no mistake with his second shot. He knew that he'd have to get rid of the gun. He also knew that there was nobody in the library. So he hid the gun in the log basket there. He was in such a panic that he never thought to remove his fingerprints. And that is how Mr. Body met his end. Why not come back and try to solve the next murder mystery at Arlington Hall?